Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your J main examination. This question came on 27th August 2021 in shift 2. So let us see this question first. Question says a coaxial cable consisting of a inner wire of radius A. So this is a wire which has been given to you, okay, having a radius of A. Surrounded by an outer shell of inner radius B and C. So this is surrounded by another shell which is having the radius B and inner and outer radius ends B and C. Okay, so the inner wire carries an electric current of I naught, just like this, which is distributed uniformly across its cross sectional area. So this I naught has been distributed over its area. So this is let this be area. So what would be it, this area? It would be pi A square. It has been distributed over it. Again, now the outer shell carries an equal current in the opposite direction. So this shell also carries current in the opposite direction, which is I naught. Okay, and distributed uniform. And this is also distributed uniformly over its shell. So what will be the ratio of magnetic field at X from the axis when X is less than A and when X is between A and B. So that means you need to find out the value of magnetic field at a distance of x. Okay, so this is let this be the distance of x when x is less than a and let this be the distance of x when x is again greater than a and less than b. Okay, so we already know we'll be using Ampere circuit law in order to find out the magnetic field at that particular point. So we already know that Ampere circuit law says that B dot line integral of GL must be equal to mu naught times of enclosed charge. Okay. Or you can say mu naught I. So this is the enclosed charge within this line. So in the first expression, we'll be doing this question in which X is less than A. When X is less than A, so this much of area has been enclosed by, so if I'll redraw it, this is area and this is A and you have you are moving from at a distance of X from it. So this is the area which has been enclosed by this line integral. Okay, so we can easily write the expression of magnetic field at this point. So magnetic field let it be B, B1, let it be B1. So B dot DL, okay. So this is B dot DL is nothing but mu naught into I. So what is uh, DL over here, what is the length over here? This is 2 pi x, don't you think? Because the circumference would be 2 pi x, must be equal to mu naught, eight, mu naught times enclosed charge. We know that this area, pi r square area, pi a square area, encloses a charge of I naught, okay? Okay, I naught, which is already given to you. So what is the ch uh, what is the current enclosed by this area pi x square? So this would be the total uh, current enclosed by pi x square area. So we'll again further write it as b1 is equal to mu naught times i naught x square by a square multiplied by 2 pi x so you'll be getting mu naught times i naught x by 2 pi a square so this is the value of expression that we are getting okay now in the second case for this line integral the total charge enclosed by it would be i naught not i naught minus i naught okay because this much of charge has must be enclosed by this line integral in the second case when it is between uh, between a and b so what would be so let this magnetic field at this point be b2 so what is the value of b2 that you need to find out again we'll be doing the same thing again we'll be applying the ampere circuit circuit law so b2 dot dl what is dl over here is 2 pi x okay must be equal to mu naught times i i naught okay so this b2 would be mu naught i naught by 2 pi 
x okay i hope it is clear so this is the value of this is the expression that we are getting for the value of b2 so you have to find out the ratio of b1 by b2 okay so what is b1 by b2 b1 is mu not i i not x by 2 pi a square so what is b2 mu not i not 2 pi x so mu not v not cancel out each other this will also cancel out each other 2 pi would also cancel out each other you will be getting x square by a square so this is the expression that we are getting so the, our answer would be a which is x square by a square so we have to make use of ampere circuit law in order to solve this particular question i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you